Hey guys, welcome back to another Let's Play. I'm Hawk from Digibytes.me and today we're going to look at Child of Eden on PS3. This also came out on Xbox, but you know, being a PS3 game, I picked it up on PS3. Works pretty well with the move and here's the intro. Alright, let's get stuck into this. Now, this came out 2011. Uh, this came out and really didn't make much of an impact at all. Came out and before you knew it, you could pick it up for like $20 as a discount title, which is pretty unfortunate considering it is awesome. Um, start from the beginning. I don't know which the first one is. Alright, give you a look at a couple of levels in this. It doesn't really take very long to complete the game. You know, there's, there's one, two, three, four, five basic levels, and then you unlock a challenge mode. And then you can go through all the levels again on a harder difficulty. But essentially, that's really it. That's all the content that comes with it. But, I don't know, as you'll see, like, it's really visually stunning and just really entertaining. And I recommend everyone have a look at it. Let's dive into the first level. Basically, we aim with aim the right stick with the left stick, and then with the right. With the X button, you lock onto things and then release, and it'll basically shoot. I think with R2, we have a purple laser that we also shoot as well, and that is used against purple enemies. It only works against them, and vice versa with uh, the lock on laser. Ideally, for a high score, you want to lock onto as many things so you get that sort of eight them locked in, and then let go on the beat. Uh, miss that one. But if you release it, you get a multiply, and that's just and essentially how you get your scores. Life. Life bar is the bottom right hand corner. Really just when you get hit by the purple. Just 
what we're really doing here. We're basically, sort of cleansing, cleansing the virus and this virus in this computer that has a preserved memory of the world as we know it, and it's been infected, and we're sort of clearing it out so we can restore the memory of the world as it once was for future generations. Purple enemy can only be defeated by the purple laser, so it's R2. And now it's... Hit it! When you stop the shot at you, you have to shoot it in response to the purple laser, otherwise it'll hit you and you lose your multiplier. And also some life. I don't know if anyone played Res way back when on the Xbox, but you know, same guy. If you can, if you played Res, you're gonna be able to pick up this really quickly. It's the same person. I'm gonna boss here. Essentially, like when this came out on Xbox, it was considered a really, really great way to show off your Kinect because you control it with your hands. And I'd, I've never, I've never tried it out, but it just seems so awesome to be able to just you know, swipe your hands on the screen to control the laser. And great way to show off your tech. PS3 games, though, we got. Move compatibility, which is it's all right. Like pointing the move at the screen and vibrates the music, which is something the Kinect can do, but still feels a bit lacking. Whoa, whoa! Let's get hit. Look. Everything you do here, every movement you make, every shot you launch becomes part of the music.
Get rid of all the purple. The Matrix surges with renewed vigor and energy. At the end of a level you pick up, you can pick one of these things to just add to your garden that is basically just like the chapter selection screen. That's why I had all those things flying around earlier. So let's go for Octet version. So to increase your ranking in levels and such, it's basically like a matter of just constantly getting your Octolox and getting your multiplier up and keeping it at 8 and just blasting your way through, making sure you're not getting hit, not missing any of the timed bonuses, not using your special Euphoria bonus, which is basically like a screen wipe. Um, and that's, and you know, what's it, what do they call it? purifying every enemy in it, so try and get like a 100% score and don't miss anything, end up with a 5 star rating, which is still pretty tough, like, <laughs> I played through this game a few times and they're still struggling the same certain bits, but it's still a blast every time you go through it. Uh, this is the end of video number one for Let's Play Child of Eden, um, I've been Hug from Digibytes.me and be sure to tune in and check out the rest of the videos. I'll be sure to follow this up pretty much right now with the next one. We'll go into the next level. Cheers for watching.